welcome back. I just wanted to thank everybody for tuning in to my little channel. Um, a question that I've been getting asked a lot was uh, to talk about what's going on with Azalea Banks and just the whole skin bleaching, even though it's a very oversaturated topic, what it is and, and what's going on, and I don't think that anybody's really talked about it in detail, is, you know, what what's happening is a lot of women have different experiences, right? We all know this. But seeing as how there's different given circumstances to everybody's life, it's almost impossible to find out why or to know what motivates or what drives somebody to do something. And I think what happens is that this whole skin lightening thing, it's almost as though everybody is being lumped up into the same thing. You know, you're lighting your skin, you're, you're doing whatever with bleaching, but the reasons why and who and how and the messages and what's happening to black women in the world, that's not being talked about. And that's not something that people really do the knowledge to a lot because everybody's at a different initiation point, right? So I say that to say, myself as a dark skinned woman, I could sit here and talk to you about the experiences and what I've learned and what I've gone through and what I've done, you know, what, what I've changed, how I've changed as a person based on, you know, experiencing certain things, but that's me. I would have to talk to you about my given circumstances of, you know, who, who raised me, my mom, my father, why I don't, why I don't have problems being the color that I am. You know, it's not to say that people that do are bad or are wrong or aren't strong, but you got to understand that as emotional people, as women, we feel everything. And I don't necessarily know what Azalea Banks experiences have, has been to have led her to be such a self-hating woman. You know, that's the root of what this is. You can't get around it. If you're bleaching your skin and you're a dark-skinned woman, however you want to rationalize it, whether it be, you know, tattoos or, you know, it makes, it, it, it's the same as, you know, getting body work or body augmentation. I understand the logic behind that, but that's not what's going on. And it's not necessarily the same because um, even though it's to, to make yourself feel better, you've got to think this is something that is not permanent unless you consistently do it. Skin bleaching isn't something that you just go through overnight and, you know, the next day you're a lighter skinned woman. No, it's a process, right? I've looked into it because it's been so crazy that there's different suppositories, there's different uh, pills, oral pills that women are taking, there's different topical creams. It is a big industry. And if it's selling like this, if famous women are doing this, then obviously dark skinned women aren't happy. That's one thing that we can come to an agreement on. Dark-skinned women are not happy, but not all dark-skinned women are experiencing this. And unfortunately, because Azalea Banks has a platform, people are making her, or people want to invest more in an individual that actually exists. She never said that she wanted to speak or, or speak up for dark-skinned women, or that she was an advocate for darker-skinned women. She's an entertainer, again, that went through the whole Disney program. Do you understand that dark-skinned women or women in general that have been Disney initiates, they don't do well. Certain people in Hollywood are not as stable and as secure with their beauty as we'd like to believe. If Angela Bassett, perfect example, Angela Bassett, gorgeous woman, um, I'm gonna stand up because I sometimes feel a, lot, a little locked. Angela Bassett, gorgeous woman, really, really intelligent, but she started making this whole skincare line product with a white woman. So I say to myself, even though you're doing well, the intent is good, white women don't have the same experiences that we have as darker skinned women. They don't understand what it feels like to have a blemish or how to lighten without bleaching and using Ambi and using all these different creams that actually destroy our skin in the long run. You know, there's no conversations about about dark skinned women's uh, high B, about dark skinned women's experiences. It's as though we all are unhappy. We all are looking for a lighter skin or a darker skin man to save us. I don't really care about men that don't find me to be beautiful. There's so many men out there that will. I don't look at people that don't give me, and this is the program, this is part of what I've learned. I ignore people. I've learned to ignore people that are ignorant. Whether you're fat, skinny, dumb, deaf, there's so many different ways that people get side shafted or that people are treated a certain way here. 
it is a, a specific case when it comes to darker skinned women but I can't even be the spokesperson and co-sign what another woman that's darker, you know, that's brown, has gone through because we were raised differently. I've never woken up in the morning and said to myself, you know what, I wanna be lighter today. I don't like what I'm seeing. I want to be a lighter skinned person. I've never gone through that, but I can't down someone that has, and I can't say that Azalea Banks is wrong because what she's really expressing is her pain. What she's really saying is that I don't feel comfortable enough in this world being the way that I look. Because this world has taught women of our color to not like us, to not love ourselves. If bigotry and uh, racism is a disease, then why isn't self-hate a disease? Why isn't that a condition? That's a learned response as well. The same way women learn to have this life. This was going on in school days times. Back in the days, there were school days took place. The same, you know, dark skin, light skin. Some women just are more comfortable with what they feel that they look like. So some women will just be attracted and be around lighter skin women, while some dark skin women don't think like that. It's almost as though, you know, like that whole saying, you know, dark skin people, and light, that didn't go on in my family. Even though that there was light skin people in my family, my sister is the exact opposite hue. But I think what happened is because certain members in my family were aware of how dark skinned women are treated in this country and i say dark skin but you know in the winter someone just said to me wow you got a lot darker you used to be light skin no i was never light skin i was lighter in the winter but if i'm in the sun every day i'm gonna get darker i'm gonna tan and that's the thing we shouldn't be afraid to get darker. It's almost as though even with what Angela Bassett did, the underlying theme is, you know, melanocytes and melanin is a problem. We can't turn it off. The sun ain't gonna destroy me. The sun ain't gonna make me darker than what I'm supposed to be. But what it will do is it'll remind me that it's a hot motherfucking sun. So the other day I peeled, nose, forehead, went through it. It's painful. I'm this color and I peeled. So you can't tell me that we don't sunburn, that our skin doesn't have different layers. The reason why I started making my own products was because I couldn't find things that saturated my skin, that kept me supple, that made the tones in my skin come out. You know, it's a science. And what's so unfortunate is that no one is having a discussion about what dark skinned women must be experiencing and going through. Azalea Banks, first of all, is not mentally sound. She is not mentally well. I'm sure if she went to a therapist and got diagnosed, she would have a whole bunch of conditions, but we don't know how she got there. And I can't down the sister for not loving herself, for being the type that, you know, a lot of people, it's like someone even said the other day, you know, if, if you're down for the cops, then you're not down for Black Lives Matter. It's like either one or the other. This is a very absolute place that we live in, but you don't have to co-sign that absolute behavior. You don't have to say, you know, I'm either, I'm only gonna hang out with dark skinned people. Or when, when did the world become so jaded in shade? When did that happen? I have a very light skinned sister. And to be honest, she's a little bit dealing with more insecurities than I ever have. Because I didn't know, but maybe as she was growing up around my family, the women in my family, totally different colors. I'm the darkest, different shades. But there used to be a game. Who could get the brownest in the summer? You know? And I didn't think that that game was actually conditioning me and teaching me to love myself. I didn't think that. So I didn't know that my sister kind of felt a little on the outside because technically she's ivory and I'm ebony. But all these terms, all these things that cause division, that makes us feel as though we're not enough. That is why skin bleaching is selling and it is working for women because some women can't take the responsibility that it comes with and the pain that it comes with. But there's a responsibility of being a redhead. I'm sure there's a responsibility that comes along with being obese. There's a responsibility that comes along with being gay. There's a responsibility that comes along with being transgender. So to isolate the dark skinned woman and make it as though there's just something wrong and if we're not lightening our skin, that we're not co-signing this quiet agreement, which is, if you're dark, you're gonna have to do some stuff to make me comfortable with you. Because that is the gen that is the theme. I've been around my own, and I've also was in college around just white folk. And if you're not strong enough, if you don't have support 
or a strong enough system, meaning your friends, your family, or just yourself, to say, you know what, these motherfuckers are just crazy. And I don't care if niggas ain't talking to me this month, if I'm gonna be ostracized, you get used to it. I've been used to being ostracized for years. You gotta get a tough skin here, or you will break. That is how it is here. But the reason why Azalea Banks, I don't know, because I'm not Azalea Banks. But what I can say is that there's different levels. And it all, the root of it, comes from a little bit of self-hate, a little bit of fear, and because you can't, you can't be so into black love and then want to go home to a white man. There is a disjointed frequency there. So even though I don't judge people, I do do the knowledge and say, wow, it's interesting that some real pro-black women, you know, pro-black this, the head wraps, the turbans, they go home to white men. That's why Azalea is getting, you know, getting joked on because it's like, you can't take up the platform and being all, but that's the thing. She never took the platform. She never said, hey, this is how I feel. And this is, this is me speaking on behalf of other dark skinned women because she can't talk like that with me being here because I will quickly come on the camera and say not all dark-skinned women hate each other and ourselves I love all colors and hues and I think that that exists in the world people just don't isolate me unless I allow them to people just don't make me not feel good enough unless I allow them to so at the end of the day it's different layers and I don't know what she's experienced but she definitely went through something where she didn't feel as though being herself was acceptable or enough and that is the theme. Regardless of me wanting to accept it or co-sign it or be a part of it, there is a theme here in this country that says if you're darker skin, you might want to fix that. And that's just something that can't be fixed. So love yourselves and be proud and bold and tan and be greasy and be all the jigaboo terms that people were afraid of. You understand? Embrace it. It comes with the responsibility, but what they don't say is that it also comes with so much magic. You dream before you dream. You can travel without moving. Your skin stays healthy. If you're not bleaching and you put a little vitamin E on it at night, you'll lighten your blemishes naturally. It's like we've gone to such the extreme that we forgot the basics. So the basics are love yourself. If you're not around people that do that, email me. Know that there's a world out here and that there's women that understand what it feels like to cry at night because you just don't feel loved, because you don't feel accepted, because men aren't looking at you. Trust you me, there's a world out there, not just white boys that will love you up, but men of your own hue that did not go through that with their mommies. So peace and love, don't invest energy into people that don't even have the strength to carry, because Azalea never did, just like Beyonce is not a political activist. She's a great entertainer, but let's not give her more responsibility than she's actually asked for. Peace out, homies.